what's up what's up good morning and uh, for me it is monday i don't know if i'll post this video today or tomorrow but um uh, i'm at my brother's house it's a beautiful day i've been waiting for this type of weather it's about 70 40, about 75 degrees outside or so uh, a little bit of a little bit of sun but it's, it's just beautiful so i took this opportunity to come out here and do a couple things to the hatch i want to I want to button up the uh, the fenders. I want to start the um, I want to start the wire tuck. I'm gonna I should have some zip ties there or something. Well, I'm gonna start the wire tuck. I want to start running the wires, uh, so I can have that because I want to uh, tighten up the fenders. And because uh, once I tighten up those fenders, there's no reason for me to take them off anymore. So I just want to keep it looking like somewhat like a car while it's uh, sitting out in the garage. So uh, that's what we're doing here today. I'm waiting for Amazon to bring me the wheel bearings. Um, I'm going to take the wheel bearings and the ball joints to my boy's shop today. As soon as it, as soon as Amazon comes in, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm going to stop, close up the garage, and I'm heading straight to my boy's shop to press in the bearings and the ball joints. Uh, that's the only thing keeping me from tightening up all the suspension so the car can be a rolling shell. So, uh, so uh, yeah, I need to roll it to the side of the house so my brother can be able to uh, actively use his driveway right now uh so yeah let me and let me i'm, I'm gonna see what else i can uh, button up he, he's got some used parts there for his his uh, rx7 his fd build um uh, yeah he wants me to clean up for him so he needs to try to get some money back for uh, his build so he's got some old parts there that he wants me to clean up for him so uh it's gonna be a day this is a good day so right now 1 40 p.m so let me get to work let me get to work There it is. Last we left her, that's how she looked. It's crazy. Every time I come, I gotta push this bumper in. I don't know. I think it's still. Oh, what the heck was. Oh! I thought that was like a leaf. Look, it's a frog. I want to flick him off. He's so small. Look, he's the size of. Look. Look at the nut. I'm gonna look at the. Yeah, look at the bolt. And look at him. Poor little guy, he's been taking care of my car. Let me push this in, all right? Cause, are you the one that's moving my bumper? What the? Only in Virginia, ladies and gentlemen. In Puerto Rico, they like a coqui. <laughs> all right, you could chill there uh, while I get to work, all right? Stay put. These are the parts my brother wants me to uh, spray down for him. So my brother has a 93 Mazda RX-7 FD. Send it out to uh, rebuild the motor. He's doing a lot of upgrades to it. And these are some of the parts that uh, came back. So, like I said, he needs to get some of his money back. So I'm gonna clean it down, you know, spray it down for him. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that, so. So the Amazon guy, he bring my boxes, ball joints, wheel bearings, they're the hubs. I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna go take it to my boy uh, so he can press them in and then I can get the front end nice and tightened up. Yeah, all right, so. All right, so I took everything out. I did my brother a favor, I cleaned it as best as I can, spray some purple power on it. Ran it, ran, uh, ran the parts through the brush. They actually came out pretty clean. They were dusty. There's a lot of uh, grease on the inside and everything. These plastics came out pretty clean. That had a bunch of grease and like that dusty grease on there where it was dust and then grease combined. And then uh, this one right here. I made sure I kept the power washer away so I wouldn't mess up the, uh, the fins or anything. Same thing here. Those were already in there, these little things, but I made sure I had the power washer on the edge. So yeah, there was a bunch of grease and grime all caught up in here and the screws. Everything came out nice and clean. So you're welcome, my brother. Whoa, hold on. Yeah, it's my brother's side right there. I'm coming for you, bro. Yeah. This obviously looks a lot nicer than mine right now, but she's gonna come out funky. I'm gonna take care of that little body work thingy there suspension goes on she's gonna sit right 
motor can go in. But anyways, yeah, so you're welcome, my brother. Let me head off to Paso Automotive so I could uh, do the bearings, press in the bearings and the ball joints, and I'll be back. Just got here. Got something running right there right now. Like a kid at a candy store when I come here. Let me, uh, so yeah, fast automotive guys, Woodbridge, Virginia. There's the info right there. Let me go out and take care of business. Second one right there. So I'm almost out of here. I'm almost back to the house. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? All right. So I didn't vlog all the stuff that I did because, like I said, it's not a how-to channel. <laughs> this is just a follow little build and uh, see what I've done so far. So the suspension is complete. It's off jack stands. Uh, I actually got a uh, an update on the. On the coilovers and they'll be here wednesday so i was here with my boy lining up trying to line up the fenders and everything and uh put the suspend that suspension is hand tightened the ball joints are all hand tightened i just need to steer the car so that i can get the suspension uh so i can get the coilovers on lower the car get it a nice stance now the wire tuck the wire tuck i finished here you go no headlight the headlight wires are coming out through there I got the other clips right there for the body harness. That's how I did it. Uh, I, I, I started one side there, but uh, I got to get wire and extend the wires because they don't reach to the uh, headlights and run them to that side also. So that's done. Uh, what else? So I'm still not, I was just playing with the with the lining up of the car. I'm still not even done. Everything's loose. The headlights are loose. Everything's loose. But I, I was able to line up the hood. So tomorrow I'll probably put the latch, the hood latch back on. Uh, I'm gonna start shopping for a new hood because I need a hood. But um, yeah. So CJ came over to help me out. What up? What up, what up? And he said, "Yo, Ray, let's put the transmission on." And he was my saving grace because I couldn't do it by myself. So we sandwiched it on real nice. Had no issues with threading or anything. She sandwiched on real good. I'm not even going to look, like I said, man, there's going to be something else in that car. I'm just putting this motor in for now. I cleaned it up. I'm not going to paint it. I might, the most I might do is paint the valve cover, if that, if I get bored. But yeah, we did, I wasn't expecting to put the tranny on, but that's done. So I can literally, once I'm done with the wire tuck and running all the wires, I can literally start putting the, uh, putting the engine in. So, but yeah, man, I'm done for the day. I'm going to try to move this car over now that it's able to. It's able to steer and move, and we're gonna try to put it over here in the corner so I can continue just work on it on it in the corner. My brother can have his garage back, and then I gotta clean some of this stuff up. So, peace out. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know. 
and we see you on the next one. You heard?